All right, this is Ken Rosever, and we're looking at uh, the Unit B review problems that I sent you in a worksheet. Here we go. Uh, the first one is we're going to write the statements in symbolic form. And this is my second uh, take on this video, and I didn't like the first one, so I've already filled in some of these. I'm hoping uh, not many people will have problems with the first few, so I'm going to go with those, go through those a, a little bit more quickly. But it says Heather's a doctor. However, Janelle is not a softball coach. Heather is a doctor is statement P. That's right up here. Janelle is a softball coach is Q. So we know we have P and we have not Q. And however is the equivalent of an and. So our symbol is P and not Q. The next one says, if Chris is not a teacher and Janelle is a softball coach, comma, the comma indicates to us that both of these together, this conjunction is the antecedent of the conditional. So those go in parentheses. Chris is not means we have not R and Q. Heather is not a doctor, it's not P. So if this, then not P. Number three says Janelle is a softball coach if and only if Heather is a doctor. Well, Heather was a um, doctor was P. Janelle is a softball coach is Q. And if and only is is a biconditional, which is a double um, a double arrow. Okay. The next one say um, use P, Q, and R above to write each statement in symbolic words. So we, we're still dealing with these here. Maybe I can move this up a little. So we still have Heather's a doctor, Janelle's a softball coach, and Chris is a teacher. When I see a negation in front of a parenthesis, I translate that as it is false that. Well, what is? Heather is a doctor and Janelle is a softball coach. And I put the comma to show that the grouping for the it is false has ended or Chris is a teacher. If I forget the comma, then I'm assuming I'm negating everything that follows, and that is not what number four is indicating I should do. Down below, if. Now the disjunction is the antecedent, and the negation here is the consequence. So Janelle is a softball coach, or Chris is a teacher. I group those before the then, and I put a comma. Uh, the comma is in super necessary because we know between the if and the then is the antecedent so I know I'm taking all this as the antecedent and Heather is not a doctor as the consequence. Now I'm going to start working these out because these are a little more involved but there's nothing really hard here. This is a truth table where we're given um, just two simple statements in there a P and a Q and so we're going to have four lines. Um, if we had three variables, if we had a P, a Q, and a R, we'd have to do eight lines. The pattern for setting these up, as we've discussed in class many times, is half true, half false, and then every other, right? And the P's always go first, and then the Q's. Um, let's work this out. This is a OR. A OR is only false when both are false, so. It's false down here, and everything else is true. Now that I've figured out the disjunction, I'm going to go over here and put in true false, true false for Q. And what am I going to do? I'm going to use the rule for a conditional. A conditional is only false when true goes to false, and that happens right there. So you should have gotten true, true, true everywhere else. Over here, we have a negation of a conjunction, if and only if, and then that. So first thing I'm going to fill in is my, my P. Again, there's two variables here. If it was eight variables, I mean three variables, we would have eight lines, but because it's two, we have four lines. If it was eight lines, though, the pattern would be we do four trues and four falses. Then we do two trues, two faults, two trues, two faults, and then true faults alternating if it was with that. 
and that would cover every possible combination. Um, over here we do true, false, true, false, and then we're going to do the and. So I'll do red again. And is only true when both are true, so that's at the top and nowhere else. Then I have to negate that in the parentheses, so negating true, false, false, true, false, 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 I get false, true, 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 and I'm going to um, do that by conditional with true, false, true, false, because that's what Q is, and my resultant is, let's see, only true when both match, because that's the rule for the by conditional. So that's true here and nowhere else. So all of these are false. So my answer on this one was that row. My answer on this one was that row. And the last thing I did classifies it. So this would be a conditional. And this would, of course, be a biconditional. All right. Moving on. Hopefully this is becoming easier for you guys. Um, we're trying to find the truth value of the statement. Well, we have to go and look at the simple statements here, and we have to determine ourselves whether these statements are true or false. So, um, the Earth is our home planet. That's true. And the oceans are made of water, I'd say that's true. True and true is true. A true, a um, conjunction is only true when both are true. Next one. Uh, people write with pens. That's our first statement. What would you say? People write with pens, I'd call that true. Or, uh, children color with crayons. All right, children color with crayons, I'd say that's true. If and only if the Super Bowl is played in August. The Super Bowl is played in August. Uh, nope, it's played in, um, I think, late January or early February now. Um, so I'm going to say that that is false. your faults. Now which do I do first? The, the or, the disjunction, or the biconditional? And the answer, because of order of operations, says I do the disjunction first. And true or true is true. Biconditional to false is false, because a biconditional only true when both agree. All right, this is another evaluative exercise. Hopefully you tried these before you checked your work against mine. So let's see what you got and if it's what, I, what I'm about to get. So let's see, this is a P and Q and R. Now I don't have to make a truth table for these. I just have to plug in the values. So P is true, they're telling me. And Q is false. What's R? True. I'm going to negate that. So next row. True and false is false. Uh, conjunction is only true when both are. But i got to negate that. So that's going to be true. True or true is true. Okay, next one. Q was false or true not true not true all right on this I have to do the or before I do the conditional so false or true is true a disjunction is only false when both are so and this is not true so that's a false when is a conditional false when true leads to false. So this is false, and that's your answer. Number 12. Determine if the statements are equivalent. To determine if the statements are equivalent, you have 
two choices. You can make a truth table or you can give me a reason. On this one, the reason that these two are equivalent is because of De Morgan's law. So you could say they are equivalent by De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law says if you den negate a disjunction, you're going to have to distribute the negation and flip the connective. So doing that here, distributing the negation, I get not not p and not q. Not not p is p. p and not q is what they have right there. So those are equivalent. However, if you didn't write De Morgan's law as the reason, then you would have to show me the reason is, uh, or you would have to show me that they're equivalent by demonstrating it via a truth table. Truth table, let me lay the groundwork. It's going to have four rows because we have two variables. So it's going to be true, true, false, false for P and true, false, true, false for Q. So not P is going to be false, false, true, true, and not Q is going to be false, true, false, true. And then I have to look. A disjunction is only false when both are false, so here it is. And the rest are true, which means my result out here is false, true, false, false. So that's my answer. So this row here under the conjunction better match up. A conjunction is only true when both are true. So that's where it's true and everywhere else is false. Do the both match? Yeah, they do. False, true, false, false. False, true, false, false. These are equivalent, and I have proved it by demonstrating it with the truth table. So 